So, you've returned. Count yourself fortunate that I'm a forgiving man. Serana is home, Lord Harkin. Yes, it took a while and a man with a set of skills I didn't have, but she is home. You and Dominique had an agreement. That was not as useful as I would have liked. Lord Harkin... Be still. You are a guest in this castle at my pleasure. I'll permit you to stay for now, but you are no true vampire, and I will make my own judgments. Yes, sir. Do you have any questions? What about him, Lord Harkin? Not all mortals can withstand my embrace. But I have waited this long, and we are so very close now. I can wait a bit longer. With your permission, sir, I'd like to keep an eye on him. I did drag him into this, after all. You are testing my patience. Apologies, my lord. So be it. You are welcome here. For now. You've been given a great gift. Do not squander it. Understood. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought you here. I should have known he'd force you to came in. I... Arden. How do you feel? Cold. You probably won't remember this when you wake up, but my name is Ingrath. Ingrath Stormsong. I owe you that much. Ing... Uh, means gentle. Yeah. Hardly fits, huh? It's... Um... Ingrath. Rest, Arden. We can talk when you're... How... <laughs> I would help if I could, but I don't know. Just don't leave. Just don't leave. Please, don't pardon. Please don't leave me. It's dusty in here. Okay. Huh. New teeth. That's... That's nice. All right. I think... I think I'm awake. Awake at last. Good. The power is growing within you. And now you must learn to wield it. Right. Where's... Never mind. What exactly is this supposed to be? A shrine to Molag Bal, the mighty Daedra Prince who is father to all our kind. Our power is a blessing from him. It is he who first bestowed the gift of the ancient blood upon me. You made a pact with Molag Ball? Uh, now all of the Second Era stuff makes more sense. In an age long forgotten to history, I ruled as a mighty king. My domain was vast, my riches endless, and my power infinite. 
And yet, as my mortal life neared an end, I faced a seemingly invincible enemy. My own mortality. I pledged myself to Molag Ball, and in his name I sacrificed a thousand innocents. In reward, he gave everlasting life to myself, my wife, and my daughter. And so I have defeated mortality itself. You what? Oh, Mara, what have I done? How exactly did someone drag me in here? Or what happened? My blood is potent. At first, the body is overwhelmed by it. After my bite, you collapsed and fell into a slumber. Now your flesh has acclimated to the new blood that courses through your veins. I assure you, no harm was done. In truth, your strength surprises me. Not all mortals can withstand my embrace. My own stupidity surprises me. I need a moment, if that's all right. Revel in your new powers, but do not forget who gave them to you. I just need a moment. What is all this? Where's Cayman? didn't really have much of a choice, did I? I suppose I still don't. More like Baal, huh? Great. I suppose I'm going to be lost if I don't have at least a bit of instruction, huh? All right, speak to Garen Marethi, he says. As though I'm supposed to know who that is. Oh, good grief. Why are vampires so messy? Yikes. Oh, hello. And hello. Uh, excuse me. I'm sure Lord Harkon is grateful you've returned his daughter. I'm sure he is. Um, I have a message for Garen Marethi from Harkon. Lord Harkon, remember your place. Now, what is our Lord's wish? Of course. Lord Harkon simply says it's time. He says you would know what that means. Well, well. He wants the chalice, then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? I have not. It is a rather well-kept secret. The chalice has been in Lord Harkon's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. 
Lord Harkon has never cared to use the chalice, relying on his more than adequate powers until now. Oh, good. This is an intriguing what? change. Move. Isn't it just? Serana. Lady Serana. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkon's orders, Ortheolf. Okay. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the Chalice. Really? Indeed. He's off to Redwater well, Den. Best of luck to you. Thank Bengalmo you. Galmo and Ortheolf are Harkon's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. Uh-huh. As in, quick... Here we are. Pardon me. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the blood spring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into... Well... Let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Oh, good. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. Of course. Understood. Yes, I'm sure they're rather surprised to learn that the upstart is the one. Not one of them. Huh? I hesitate to say this, but I feel like I should get to know these people better. Just in case. Pardon me. Orthiolf, was it? Good to see a new face here. Especially one that isn't attached to an elf. Between you and me, there's too many of them. Can't trust a lot of them. Never could. Want my advice? Avoid getting wrapped up in Vin Galmo's schemes. He's after the throne, and he'll kill anyone that gets in his way. You don't trust Vin Galmo? Although I will take your warning seriously. Of course not. He's an elf, isn't he? He'll cozy up to you, use his honey's words to get you to lower your guard, then use you and throw you away when he's done with you. You'll watch yourself around him. Yes, I most certainly will. Thank you, Orthjolf. Darkness shroud you. What are you looking at? <laughs> you know, it's a bit disconcerting that I can get that angry and not feel it. And Vingalmo is up there now. All right. Still no sign of Cayman. This concerns me. Excuse me. Bother someone else. Oh. We'll do. Stindas. Never mind. I'm never going to get used to these things. Ugh. New teeth. Coffins? Seriously? Coffins? Vingalma, was it? You'll be a welcome addition to the court, I'm sure. If I may, let me offer you a piece of advice. Be careful who you trust. Not all of us have the court's best interests at heart. Ortheolf, for example. He'll tell you he means well, but believe me, he can't be trusted at all. Keep that in mind, will you? Oh, I will. And Orthiolf can't be trusted because he's in Nord, correct? He claims to serve loyally, but he really covets the throne. He sees himself in charge someday. His ambition will justify any actions. Put your faith in him, and you will regret it, I promise you. All right. I'll keep that in mind. May mortals quake at your approach. 
Uh, I'd rather they not. I'd rather keep it, you know, under wraps, if at all possible. Models don't really... Ah, uh, how quickly I adapt. <laughs> and now, of course, I remember all of the conversations that we had. Let's not. Let's say we did. Uh, never mind. Huh. You know, this isn't entirely an unfamiliar sight to me. Odd. I suppose necromancy should be rather expected in a place like this, huh? I hear a smith. And that intrigues me. You know, I kind of would have I would have expected my hearing to be better, but no. It's not actually all that. You're the one! Jeez. Are you one handing that harbor? What? <laughs> uh, pardon me. Uh, excuse me. New blood, eh? Let's get something very clear. I don't care about politics. You want to fight over the throne with the rest of them, go right ahead. I feed when I'm hungry, I sleep when I'm tired, and I kill whenever I'm in the mood. Those are the things that are important to me. Understood. May I ask what your purpose is in this court? Simple. He says kill, I kill. <laughs> Sometimes. He doesn't even have to say it. Understood. So you're... Interesting. It's good to meet you. Fura, was it? Bleed Skyrim dry. I not. I suppose I shouldn't get in her way. Oh, I find myself thinking what would Uncano do right about now? He's generally s was generally smarter with people than I am. So you're the smith, eh? Can you feel it? You're now so much more than you were before. Time was I could barely hold my own in the companions. And now I could slaughter them all without a second thought. And I'm not half the vampire Lord Harkon is. Truth is I'm better with a forge than I am with claws or fangs. You are in the Companions? As in... God, second era, that must have been... Although, you seem... Younger than Har Lord Harkin? Ish? If you don't mind my saying so? I, I was. Didn't progress very far. Never did care for their attitude. Acting like they're better than everyone else. But none of that matters now. Understood. Well, thank you for the time, Hestler. Right? Until next time. Of course. Question, am I s- God! Pardon me, Fura. Just testing me, I see. I hope. I must have been out for at least a day and yet I feel like I could sleep for another entire week. Ah well, I'd want it in. Lady Serana. Right? What now? Never mind. Welcome home, I suppose.
brooding, are we? Arden. You. Oh. I'm alive. More or less. I... I'm sorry I wasn't there when you woke up. Hark, and don't worry about it. I'm starting to see what he's like. Can... Can I talk to you for a while? Of course. You've seen my true face now. Did he turn you too? No. No, a woman named Dominique Gold did. She runs Redwater Den. Don't tell her I told you. So you know where I'm headed then? I could guess. I hear more than they think I do. Except Master Marethi. He's pretty sharp. He seems... Oh, I wouldn't say nice, but... He's one of the good ones. My advice? Listen to him over anyone else. That includes Harkin. Arden? I know what you're gonna ask. Why did I say yes? Yeah. He may be an outrageous asshole, but Harkin is a man of his word. I find that hard to believe. He would have let you leave. You know that. I didn't at the time. I thought even if he banished me, I'd likely get hunted down, and where would I go anyway? The Vigilance? The Dawn Guard? They'd have cut me down the moment I told them about Serana and the Elder Scroll. I couldn't go back to Winterhold either, now that he knows my name. Arden. Gods, you thought all that out in the space of a few seconds? Yes. He caught me in a vulnerable moment and took advantage of it. Grief has always been my enemy. He trapped me. Just like Ancano trapped me. No. Stop. I know where your head is, and I don't like it. Sorry. Gods, and don't apologize to me. I'm the one who roped you into this disaster. I'm the one who decided to come along. Don't give me that. I wanted a distraction. Now I've got one. Learning how to live as a vampire is going to take... Gods, I don't know what. Well, you have me, if you ever need more guidance than whatever Harkin taught you. You have Dominique. She's a real pain in my backside, but she takes care of her own. Trust me. I do. You do? More than I trust anyone else right now. You didn't want this either. I suspect you wanted me to stay at Winterhold and... I don't know what... Arden. What did I say about brooding? And here I am, brooding. Arden, look at me. Someone out there is having a worse week than you. That person is probably in Morrowind and on the brink of dying in a lava flow. Ake's balls, where did that come from? I'm just saying. You've had a long week. You're not alright. I can't read you as well anymore because your heart is slower, but just... Whenever you need to talk, find me. Or find Dominique. She cares, even if it sometimes seems like she doesn't. I wouldn't want to rope you into carrying my problems. That's not who I... Talk to me. I... Arden. I don't know who I am anymore. I barely know what I am anymore. You're a nerd, Arden. <laughs> Sorry. You caught me off guard. I mean, you're right, but I feel so different. Cold. You still breathe, just slower. Your heart still beats, if barely. You'll be alright. Had I known a few days ago that it was the last sunrise I'd ever see... You'll see more. 
And it'll be an absolute pain every single time, believe me. <laughs> So, can you turn into a monster too? What? I seem to be a vampire lord, so Hagen tells me. Can you do that too? No, I'm not the same kind of vampire as you. In fact, I should probably be calling you sir or my lord. You- You outrank me. You really don't have to do that. I'm not Harkin. I don't expect that level of- <laughs> I don't you really are. Still quite easy to read. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, I wish you luck on your journey, Arden. I can only come with you to solitude. After that, unfortunately, I have other business to attend to. There's still so much I don't understand about you. I'm a man of many mysteries. Maybe I'll share a few of them sometime. Well, I'm a scholar, I suppose. Unraveling mysteries is my day job. Oh, well, you'll get used to it. Ingrath? Yeah. Wait. I remembered. Ingeroth. That's how you say the gentle one in Old Meris. I assume Ingrath is how you say it in Bosmeris. You're right. But... It's a good name. And... It suits you. You think gentle one is a good name for a man who kills people for a living? I think it's a good name for a man who saves people as a hobby and stays by someone's side while they're dying despite the threat of being unmade. I think it's a good name for a man who cares enough about a stranger to tell him he needs sleep. Arden... I... I don't know what to say. Frankly? Your face says it all. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the mainland. We've both got fish to fry and probably shouldn't stand around talking where Harkin's court could see us. A very good point. Hmm. Get in the boat, my lord. By the eight. <laughs> <laughs>